What's up everyone, welcome back to Just Finished Coding. This is part 8 of our platform game series on Scratch 3, so let's get coding. Just Finished Coding Now quick interjection here, if you've not watched parts 1 to 7, please watch them before you come here because we're picking up from where we left off and you'll be very very lost. So I'll leave a card for you right here. Please check those videos out and come right back. Now if you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched part 1 to 7, in which case your game should look something like this. So you can move around and it almost works perfectly, except for the fact that we do not have, you know, a level 2 or a level 3 and so on. So if you just want a one level platform a game, you could consider adding in the obstacles right here itself. But I'm going to make probably a 2 or 3 level platform a game, so I'm going to move on with my code. So as you can see here in the lightning sprite, uh, we had this uh, code which said if touching ball a uh, broadcast next level. So I'm going to tweak that a little bit. So first I'm going to, um, okay, I can't rename the message. So I'm just going to dump that and I'm going to create a new message and I'm going to call it level two. Uh, there we are. Perfect. And what we want to do is to have an if uh, within that if touching ball. And what I'm going to have is if and I'm going to grab an equals to and I'm going to say if level equals to one and we don't have a level yet so I'm going to make a variable called level which is going to hold the level number and I'm going to say if level equals to one and I'm going to head back to the ball sprite and uh, go right up when the green flag is clicked and I'm going to say set level to be one there we are cool perfect now we head back to the lightning sprite and we say broadcast level 2. Now I'm going to duplicate this once more. Uh, actually, I'll do it later. Never mind. So if level equals 1, broadcast level 2. Perfect. Uh, now I'm going to have a forever loop within this, uh, within each of the platforms. So I'm going to say forever if level equals to 1, then do that. Actually, I can copy that code from the lightning sprite. So I'm going to do that right now. So put that inside the platform. Perfect. So if level equals to one, then uh, don't forget your forever loop, by the way, that's pretty important. And you'll get some weird bugs if you don't add that in. So if level equals to one, then we go to this particular position. If level equals to two, then we actually haven't decided about that. So we'll actually configure that in a bit of time. So put that and you want to change the coordinates for each and every uh, platform based on what you have there. So whatever coordinates you have, just make sure you put it inside this if. Okay, and the last one is right there. Perfect, I'm done almost. There we are. Okay, now when we click the green flag, everything should be pretty much the same thing. But when we actually, um, all right, we actually haven't configured that. Just make sure you add in a uh, change level by one right here. Uh, that's the whole point. So change level by one. There we are. So now you can see here, I can jump and I can move and when I touch the platform or uh, when I touch the lightning, nothing seems to happen, which is kind of weird. Yeah, level equals to two and that is actually uh, pretty good. Okay, I thought nothing happened, but there we are. So um, if level equals one, then it goes here. And if level equals to two, it really isn't sure what to do. So it just kind of stays there, okay? Now, if we wanted to hide if level equals to two, you could just add in a block of code which says hide. And I'm just going to have one platform for level two uh, and uh, level three is going to be pretty much otherwise the, you know, just uh, level three is going to be, I guess, one or two platforms maximum as well. So I'm just going to leave a hide right there. So um, head back to each of the platforms and you want to change the if with an if else. And uh, within the else, you want to put this code which says hide. Okay. And you can change this later if you want to show the platform or just uh, follow me along for now. So, and you want to remove that if and put this right back. So you want to do the same thing for every platform that you do not want to use. And uh, if you do want to use a platform, then just uh, leave it uh, as I am doing for platform one. So go here, else, hide. Perfect. Okay, and put that inside the forever loop. There we are. So now when you actually touch the, okay, uh, that was a bit weird. So when I touch the green flag, okay, uh, the reason these two sprites are not showing is because I never added in a show uh, and that's actually pretty important right here. So add in a bunch of shows right there. Okay, now let's test this out. 
so I can try and jump and when I actually touch the lightning sprite, you can see we actually went to level two. That's not the smooth, uh, neatest transition that you would expect, but uh, you, we can see our level works and these two platforms uh, actually um, are hidden right now. So when I hit the green flag, perfect. Okay, now for the ball sprite, if level equals to one, and I'm actually going to do this in a separate uh, when green flag clicked. So if when green flag is clicked, uh, forever loop, and if level equals to one then we've already configured that so i'm going to say if level equals to two um level equals to two in that case what we want to do is to go back to the starting position right here so uh rather i can just change this and say when i receive level two or when i receive level three and you just want to go to the starting position which you saved right here so negative 202 and negative 130 that's mine and you you'd have a different one most probably so you want to just put put in that exact same coordinates that you had there we are and now let's test it so i can jump now i can move up oopsie so my there's a bit of lag in my computer i apologize for that and there we are cool this is perfect now, obviously we could maybe hide the lightning sprite and go to a particular position next, but I'm gonna leave that out for now. That is level, the next level um, concept working out pretty neatly. So for the next level, I'm actually gonna have uh, the platform probably come a little bit to the left, uh, 10 steps to the left. So uh, else if level, actually you know, don't need an else, I'm just gonna have another if. So if level equals to two, then we just wanna go to, um, X and I'm gonna just move the X to the left a little bit. So I'm gonna make it 32. There we are. Now I, I actually wanna add in of, oh wait, this is level one. Perfect, okay, there we are. So now I actually want to add in a new element to the platform game and that is fire. So if the ball is touching um, the fire, then well, the game is not actually gonna end. It's gonna re, um, it's gonna go back to the exact to the beginning of the exact level that the player was playing in. So um, the fire sprite, I'm just going to draw in a rectangle. If you find any good images that you want to use in the web, by all means, go ahead and do so. But I'm just going to paint a, a bland rectangle sprite. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to choose in this color right here with 5, 60 and uh, 100 for the fire. And I think it's a pretty decent color. Oh, and uh, make sure you, uh, you um, make the outline transparent. Now let's draw it. All right, there we are. I'm gonna uh, zoom. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and this should be pretty perfect. So now I can move in this uh, sprite and yeah, I think this is gonna work out. All right, so now you wanna head over to the costumes and uh, a code, I'm sorry, and see when green flag is clicked, uh, we want it to hide. And um, if level equals to two then we want it to show so if level equals to two then show and uh, just finish that right there and i'm actually going to remove the level you could keep that if you want it's a personal preference but i would prefer if the user doesn't like see level two or level one written right at the top that's your wish right there so now uh when the oh we Put in a show instead of hide, so I apologize for that. Put in a hide initially. There we are. So now I can move up, and when I actually go to level two, you can see that the fire sprite actually popped up. Nice. So uh, I'm gonna configure that right away. So I'm gonna head over to the ball sprite, and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna go right to the first um, when green flag is click loop actually. I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see better. And I'm going to remove all this code by holding the if right at the top. And I'm going to put an if else. So if, and within that if, I'm going to say not. Um, and I'm going to put within the not, I'm going to say touching. And you should see this within your sensing category, uh, touching mouse pointer. And you want to change it to um, sprite one, in which case it's file. I'm going to rename that file. And you should have it renamed here as well. So if not touching fire, then well, we can execute this code. But if it is touching the, uh, if it is touching fire, then what we want to do is initially, 
uh, you know, before you get to the else statement, you want to set um, an effect called ghost to be equals to zero. And when it's touching a fire, what you want to do is to uh, grab a repeat number of times from the control section and you want to say repeat 10 and within looks category grab this block which says uh, change color effect by 25 and you want to change that to change ghost effect by 10 and you want to wait for a tiny uh, bit of duration at the end of each one of these iterations so just put point not one seconds that should work out so now you can see when i go into the file my ball basically just fades away and uh, you might want to add in this uh, block of code to fire which says go right at the back uh, or you could just uh, go to the ball and say go to front layer. So I'm going to go to looks and say go to front layer. So now when I test this out, yeah, I need to go to level 2 first. So I can jump. And there we are. And now you can see the ball actually just fades away. Perfect. Now uh, you actually have to make the lightning go here and then we have level 3. So I'm going to do that right now. So if level equals to one, then well, show. Okay, so we actually need to also have another when green flag is clicked click that. So you want to remove this when if touching ball and just have if level equals to one. And there we are, just put that block of code inside. So now we're going to have another if. So now in this case, if level equals to two, then what we want to do is to move our lightning over to the side um, and I'm going to do that right now. So move the lightning right here. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So go to, and now you can change the coordinates from the motion category. So go to this particular position and the same thing would apply. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And if level equals to two, I'm going to say change level by one and broadcast level three. Perfect. So now you can see when we actually touch the lightning sprite, nothing's going to happen, but it's actually going to broadcast another message which says level three. Uh, now, obviously we haven't programmed what would happen in case, you know, the user hits the fire and we want the level to restart and we'll be doing that in the next video. So that's it. We'll be coding right now. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.